cars, clothes, and restaurant dinners got consumers to open their wallets in May. The result, better than expected U.S. retail sales. Retail sales rose half a percent last month, according to the Commerce Department, after surging by 1.3 percent in April. Sales were 2.5 percent higher than a year ago. James Ingram is CEO of Splashlight, a technology company that analyzes retail sales, and he says it's all thanks to online sales. One out of every ten dollars is spent online last year, which is up 15 percent from 2014. If you're positioned to reach the consumer online and be convenient and, and price competitively, you're going you're gonna to outpace these retailers that are burdened with, with stores. Excluding volatile factors like cars, gas, building materials and food services, core retail sales rose a solid 0.4 percent last month after an upwardly revised 1.0 percent increase in April. But Lakshman Achuthan, chief operations officer and founder at ECRI, says just because it is better than expected doesn't mean it is good enough. If we step back and look at the big picture, year-over-year -year growth uh, in retail sales is at two and a half percent. So it's down from the five percent that it was a year and a half ago at the end of uh, 2014. So I think the slowdown idea that the Fed is wrestling with is completely um, supported by this latest retail sales data, even though it's a little better than expected. The retail sales data comes in just as Fed policymakers are meeting in Washington.